Hey everyone, Ashy here. Uh, this video is more of a proof of concept. I had a couple people mention in some comments on my previous video where I was playing Left 4 Dead 2 online using Steam, but in Proton 10, they were wondering how did I install Steam inside Proton. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I will give you a warning that this is definitely just a proof of concept. It has many, many issues, but it did allow me to play the game I wanted to play, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, because I couldn't get it to work in the Box64 version of Steam that works much, much better than this. So uh, I'm just going to explain the instructions or the steps for what I did. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can use it at your own risk. Like I said, it does have some challenges and I'll tell you what I did to get around some of those issues. And you can try this yourself if you're interested in playing games like Left 4 Dead that will not work in Box 64, but will work in a, a Proton or Bionic setting. So I'm just going to create a new container and I've already downloaded the proton10.wcp file from kimchi's uh, repository and I'll put a link for that in the description below. So I'm just going through and setting everything up using the newest graphics drivers. Uh, I'm going to use a specific DXVK and I'll mention that later on uh, in the video. Everything else I'm just going to leave pretty much the same except for I do like to change my GPU driver just to the newest one, or my GPU name, sorry. And I put my RAM up to about four gigabytes because I have 12 gigabytes of RAM on my device. So I try to use it all. But everything else is pretty much stays the same. I'm gonna mess around with the, the settings for the FEX core here. I'm just gonna set it to the newest FEX core 2508, again, in Kimchi's repository, and just set up the settings here. And because this is a 32-bit app, Steam, that we're gonna run, I just, I like to use just the the biggest four cores of my, my device. So we're creating a container and we're just gonna go inside of it and install Steam. Now we need to install Steam. So I used a version of old Steam I got from a uh, Long June's repository a long time ago. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this folder and I'm gonna paste it into my program files folder so that I have uh, the Steam folder with all of the files already installed. So I cannot run the installer inside Proton because it, uh, it doesn't work. It's not the same as Box64. So you just have to paste this in here and then we're gonna go inside the folder and we're gonna move some more files in there in a second. So just remember, you cannot start Steam using the Steam EXE. We need to use a special file to start Steam. So the first file is a downgrade to Steam, so it's going to download a specific version of Steam that works in WinLater. And the second file is how we're going to start Steam, and it's going to keep it from doing a lot of things in the background, like updating and uh, using up too many resources and that kind of stuff. So we're just going to copy those files directly into the Steam folder. And I'll put a link to these files in the description below if you need to download them. All right, so now we are ready to downgrade Steam. So we're just going to double click on this .bat file and it's going to run. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it can take a little while uh, for it to download and check everything. Now that that's done, now we can start Steam. So we're going to use this start steam.bat. Uh, I like to create a shortcut for it so I can start it from outside the container, but we're going to run it the first time inside the container here now. Now that steam is downgraded, we can use the start.bat to start up steam. However, 
like I said, there's some issues with Steam running inside Proton. It is going to freeze a lot. Now, it froze right on the start here for me. So what I had to do was go into the task manager and look for the Steam web helper process. And then I just needed to end that process. So I tapped on the three little dots next to Steam web helper end process, and it will restart the Steam process and bring back the login page. It will do this when you're inside Steam as well. So from here, I'm gonna tap on the plus sign and I like to use the QR code because I find that's more secure. So I used my phone to scan the QR code and it took a couple tries, but I was able to log into my Steam account. So if you get this, just click retry. It will open it up again. Click on the plus sign and then scan the QR code again with your phone or device that you use to log in and you'll be able to log in to your Steam account. Here we are. So we're inside my Steam account. Now, I'm just setting up a few things. I have games already installed on my local drive, so I'm just going to add my local drive as storage. Uh, you can uh, go in here and, like I said, if you're having any issues with downloads, you can clear the cache. I mean, it's just the same as normal Steam works. For me, I'm just going to add my D drive because that's where I put my games. So you can see here, I've got that and my game should show up here in a second. There, so the games I have installed on my local drive are there. So I've only tested four games so far. Uh, Borderlands 2 and Gun Touchables both work in Box 64, but I could not get Left 4 Dead 2 to work. So uh, what I had to do was use this version of Steam. So we crashed again, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Go in, kill the Steam web helper, just wait a couple seconds. Uh, it will load up Steam again. As long as you don't kill the original Steam process, just kill the Steam web helper, it will automatically bring back Steam once it loads up into RAM again. Now I'm just going to go to my library and I should be able to see my games that are installed. I'm going to select Left 4 Dead 2 because I know that's the one that works inside Proton. And I'm just going to load the game like I normally would inside Steam on a PC or Mac or whatever. So you can see uh, your load time might vary, but for me, it was pretty quick. And now I'm inside Left 4 Dead 2 Steam and I can go and play online or I can play just the, the solo game. Um, if you want to see some online play and what it looks like, I'll put a link to my live stream video where I played this for about an hour online. I hosted a game, I joined games and it played perfectly and it synced up my saves to the cloud. So that is how I was able to install Steam on Proton 10. And I hope that helps some of you out there if you're looking to do this. Um, I'm not sure what other games specifically need this, but I know for me on my device that Left 4 Dead 2, I could not play it in the Box 64 version. So I needed to use this version. And you can see here that I have my Steam shortcut that I created so I can get to it without going through the container. And for me on my device, so my Odin 2, the 2.4.1 ARM 64 ECs were the only two that actually worked for this game. 
Uh, all the other settings are exactly the same as I said before, but just make sure you use the FEX Core 2508. And I'll put a link to that uh, in Kimchi's repository so you can download that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck testing out Steam in Proton.